in what may be the best episode of House of the Dragon yet. Episode 7 gives us an intrigue-packed episode full of events that will become extremely important in the story to come. Chief among these is the claiming of the dragon Vagar by Aemon Targaryen and the dragon's position switching from the black side to the green side. I had made a promise that I would not officially pick a side until the first season was over, but the events of episode 7 are heavily leaning me towards the greens right now. It is clear to me that Aemon didn't do anything wrong or immoral in this episode, and yet the comments on the internet from the black side have just been completely abhorrent and disgusting, justifying his eye getting gouged out by Rhaenyra's son. For this reason, I think it's important we set clear the Valyrian values of dragon bonding in Inheritance, and clarify why Aemon did nothing wrong according to these rules, and also cover how Rhaenyra's side is both ignorant and immoral. Additionally, it's becoming increasingly clear that the Game of Thrones establishment is just completely biased against the Greens, with big channels like Emergency Awesome acting as a total shill for the Blacks in his two most recent videos on House of the Dragon. In these videos, he says that Alicent's children all have punchable faces and that they're getting uglier with age, whereas Rhaenyra's kids are becoming better looking. He also claims that Aemon stole Vagar from under the nose of Reyna, which leads to the title of this video, Aemon Did Nothing Wrong. With all of this internet hostility against the Greens, I think it's important to provide another perspective on the brewing House of the Dragon conflict. First of all, there are no laws of inheritance when it comes to dragons. While we aren't too sure about Valyrian law as not much is revealed in the show, the books do give us a great deal of history about how dragons were passed throughout the Targaryen family. Vagar initially belonged to Aegon the Conqueror's wife, Visenya, before the mighty dragon was claimed by King Viserys' father, Balon, after whose death she was then claimed by Lena Valarian. So, right off the bat, it's clear that Vagar did not originally belong to House Valarian or Lena, so Aemon did not steal anyone's dragon, as dragons are living beings with feelings and the ability to consent. They aren't inanimate objects to be inherited, like a crown or a house. Furthermore, from what we know of the process of dragon bonding, is that when a rider attempts to claim a dragon, there's only two possible outcomes. Either you successfully claim the dragon, or you become its next meal. It's therefore impossible to steal a dragon. Aemond, therefore, did not steal Vagar by any account. He was brave enough to go up to her and attempt to claim her, and the dragon ultimately accepted him. He didn't break any laws or tradition. At the worst, you can say is that his timing was wrong because it was right after the funeral of Lena and therefore was not in good taste, but neither was Rhaenyra going off and screwing her uncle, the widower of the deceased, right after his lady wife was buried at sea. Aemon saw an opportunity and seized it. He claimed a dragon, then went to bed. The rest is history, as we saw that he was ganged up on and attacked by Rhaenyra and Lena's children, all because they were angry and jealous that he stole Vagar. Another issue that isn't 100% confirmed but is heavily implied is that Lena's daughter Reyna, who wanted to claim Vagar, doesn't even speak Valyrian. This is based on her complaints to her mother about Daemon not teaching it to her, so we have no idea if Vagar would have even accepted Reyna in the first place. Based on Vagar's history of dragon riders, it's clear that she has a type. Vagar prefers bold and spirited riders like Visenya and Lena and now Aemond, so it's highly unlikely that the timid and shy Reyna, who it appears doesn't even speak Valyrian, would have successfully claimed her. So, 
saying that Vagar belonged to Reyna is ridiculous and inaccurate. And as I've shown, dragons aren't inherited, they're claimed by those brave enough to approach them, like Aemon did. A lot of people online claim Aemon was an ass, and some are even calling him a white supremacist, saying that he deserves to get his eye gouged out. For a bit of context, remember that Aemon has been bullied by Rhaenyra's boys for years just for not having a dragon, and he presumably sees the Valarian girls on their side as well. He probably just sees them all as the same family that mocks and bullies him. Aemon does not instigate the fight. He's attacked and defends himself, and he isn't over-aggressive. He literally holds his own against the four of them and has his eye stabbed after being blinded with sand. As a result, if anyone acted maliciously and cowardly, it was the other two boys. The aftermath of the fight and the general judgment passed by Viserys was just completely weak and feeble, and it only made me more sympathetic towards the Greens. Aemon has literally lost an eye and could have died from the stabbing, yet Rhaenyra shows no sympathy or remorse for what her sons have just done, and Viserys doesn't seem to care either. Rather than discipline her son for mutilating a family member and instigating a fight, she justifies their behavior for being called bastards, which she and everyone else knows they obviously are. Black propagandist Emergency Awesome in his video claims that Aemon is twisted and cruel, but the way I see it, Aemon is the only one out of all those kids with courage, determination, and some degree of character. Viserys is proving to be just a total weakling and loser, and he treats his own son like a second-class citizen while being blindly supportive of whatever Rhaenyra does. Rather than confronting Rhaenyra for breaking her vows and blatantly disregarding her royal duties to produce a legitimate heir, he forces everyone to go along with a delusion that her children are legitimate threatening to cut out the tongues of anyone who points out the obvious truth. People online want to trash Allison's reaction and call her a psycho, but her behavior was pretty normal for a mom whose son just got his eye gouged out, and their father is doing nothing about it and is in fact defending the guy who gouged him. Finally, it seems that a lot of people on the internet are quick to support the blacks and jump on the narrative that Rainier is a strong and independent woman and people don't want her on the throne just because she's a woman. But so far, Rainier hasn't shown a single leadership quality. Rainier is selfish and impulsive. She's entitled and dishonest. How could she make a good ruler? The realm will be divided over her, not just because she's a woman, but because she has three obvious bastard sons that everyone knows about. It's clear that Rhaenyra inheriting the throne isn't good for the realm. It's only good for Rhaenyra, and if Viserys was being honest, he would clearly see that. Maybe Viserys should just make Daemon the heir again, or even Aemond. What do you guys think? Make sure to write your thoughts in the comments below. I still haven't declared a side because of my promise, but Aemon's ballsy actions combined with the bratty behavior of both Rhaenyra and her bastards are certainly driving me towards the greens. I hope this video helped establish sympathy and understanding for Aemon's actions and offered a different perspective for the episode. I still really like Damon, which is keeping my interest in the Blacks, and I am interested to see what he'll do for that side now that he's officially married to Rhaenyra.